Well, I have on my table in front of me an opportunity for you to cut off strokes in your game. You know, I've been a long drive champion, and I would go to that range and try to hit the ball farther and farther. And then finally one day it came to me that, you know what? You'd better get over on the putting green because that's where the strokes come off, off faster. So let's give you a little idea about how you can save some strokes. Keeping it simple, too, with terrific training devices. Now here's one that I use a lot. <laughs> the orange, a little orange line right here, which you just take off the rods here, put place in the ground, one behind the hole, one down farther. If you, I, I would suggest trying to do this with about six foot length putts, because if you can make those every time, then you're going to be a winner. So, uh, pretty simple, put the ball underneath, under your eye line, where uh, the line comes right over the top of the ball. You go ahead and work down the line, and when your putter leaves that line very much, you're gonna find that they don't go in the hole. So it gives you a great feeling of aiming and making the stroke. So, beautiful little start. How about aiming your ball in the first place? Dave Pels has come up with some beautiful golf balls here with the lines on them so that you can detail right away when you have miss hit the putter because you will not get a consistent rolling line. You'll get a blurred line. It'll be, they'll be wobbling down there. Now these balls, so Dave says on here that these balls are good for the USGA approves them for all use, so that kind of makes me want to go out and hit these and play with those as well. Here is a putting ring. Now we can use these rings for chipping or putting, but there are any shots that you would like to say, I want to get it within a certain distance of the hole to see, because I know I can make a putt if I can get it there. So these are very simple. The ball rolls right over the top of it and uh, they're easy to see. You can get them actually in either yellow or white, but uh, great little tools to put your focus on your practice in chipping and putting. Because if you can get that ball within that little one foot range or three foot range, what a difference it makes in the scoring. Bye bye three putts, that's for sure. Here's a simple tool, you'd say, well, what is that for? Well, this is, this is a, a device by Eyeline for, it's called a putting pendulum, and you extend it out to the length down where the, put it again in your, against your putter, top your putter, rest it in your chest, and then you make your stroke and it takes your hands out of it. What a great idea, because those flippy hands are what cause you so many of your errors. The best putters in the world keep the hands quiet and make a pendulum kind of stroke. So that can be very useful. Now we have here, we have two different putting arcs. The momentous arc, which is a, a little arc going back, but a down the line through, and some pros like it better if the arc is a little arc back and a little arc through both ways. Now I've used the putting arc mostly in my teaching, but I, I can see that there are some players and coaches and pros who would like to think that, well, a little arc going backwards and then straight going through might work better. So, but either of these is really, are really terrific because they train the feeling of a good stroke. So there you are, some ways to really cut some strokes off of your golf score.